Hello everyone and welcome back to another Loot Crate unboxing. This month's theme is Invasion. Let's open it up and see what we've got. For those of you who aren't aware, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription service. Think of it like a magazine subscription, except instead of a magazine delivered to your door, you get a box full of cool, nerdy, geeky stuff, plus a magazine. It costs about 15 bucks shipped domestically, um, that is to the US, uh, and also ships to these countries. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to provide that list because they are adding more all the time. If you're interested in subscribing, you can do so with this link down here. It's a referral link, helps me out with my own subscription, helps me bring these to you. So without further ado, let's open up the Invasion box and see what we've got. We're promised stuff with like X-Files, Alien, Fifth Element, Space Invaders. And except for Space Invaders, it's stuff I'm not really familiar with. I know it exists, but it's gaps in my general knowledge. So we'll see how this box goes for me. We're starting off with, oh man, we are starting off with a t-shirt right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and probably call that a uh, X-Files t-shirt because of the silhouettes uh, at the bottom. But honestly, that is a great, just kind of generic alien invasion t-shirt to start with. I just noticed the alien silhouette at the top too. It was really cool. So I'm enjoying that. Boom, right out the gate. I like green too. I, I just today switched my uh, uh, intros for Voter Plays Something. You see this is going up on Sunday so you'll first see the new intro with that using blue uh, on Tuesday with Deus Ex Human Revolution, switched away from the green. But this is a different kind of green anyway. This is a nice bluish green. I like that color. All right, moving on. We have, oh my God, it's an adorable little face hogger. Oh my God. Oh my God, hold on. Oh my God, hold on. We're going on an adventure. Hold on, hold on. This is his face hugger. He just wants to hump your face and lay babies in it. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> that was worth it. That was fun. He's so adorable. You're adorable too. It's okay. Yeah, that's really utilizing the GoPro. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Alien, oh my gosh, it looks like it's, it's actually like a product line because it's showing one with like the tongue coming out with also a smiley face on it. Oh my god, that is the best. I want all of them. No, I haven't seen Alien, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, before you give me crap for that, you gotta be face up, buddy. Before you give me crap for not seeing Alien, Alien, yes, it's a sci-fi movie, but it's also like kind of a horror, thriller, whatever which is not really a thing that I'm into as much. So that's why, don't give me crap for it. <sighs> ooh, ooh, is this a new style of pen? We're gonna hold off on that, okay. Okay, multi-pass. Okay, cool, so this is a uh, fifth element. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it, multi-pass, but with one of the characters from the movie, um, right there. That's a really cool prop style. It uh, looks like it's got the uh, uh, chain to wear it around your neck, carry it around with you. N neat way of doing, uh, you know, ID like that. It has a nice little uh, plastic sheath in the back too, so I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, it looks like that ID card does come out, uh, which means if you were really uh, productive on this kind of thing, you could actually probably make your own and still put it into this uh, holder on the neck here. So that's really cool. I like it. It has like use beyond just like, oh look, this one uh, ID for this one character. X-Files LED flashlight. It's an LED flashlight that has X-Files on it. Can I, can I at least turn it on while it's... No? Okay. Well, I mean, can't have too many LED flashlights. Let's see. Come on! Oh, I want to turn it on while it's still in the blister packaging and then be unable to turn it off and see how long it's going to last. Okay. We also have... We have batteries that are probably for the flashlight. Let's see here. Uh, batteries included packaged separately. And they can do that because it is a Loot Crate exclusive and they knew that the batteries are gonna be in the crate. So, 
Okay. Uh, there's a big ass rubber band. This is probably for something with the box, but we'll hold off on that. Space Invaders Mini Alien Vinyl Figures, limited edition, Loot Crate exclusive. This I'm opening right up. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Nice little color gradient there. Ooh, it's, it's not as hard feeling of plastic as you might think. Oh, I guess it's because it's like actually vinyl. That feels really cool. I like that. I don't know. Like ideally, this would have had like a clear stand or something to sit on. It doesn't, right? No. So it, you know, would sit above something, but that's that's still pretty cool. That'll find a home somewhere. Put that right there. Invasion, oh my gosh, Invasion of the Mini Prince. Oh, okay, so what do we got? War of the Worlds and The Day the Earth Stood Still. So uh, I don't know if these are the actual posters from these movies uh, or if they're just like that kind of style. Either way, I really love it. Like there's, there's something to be said for, uh, you know, like, 50s era movie posters, the hand painted, whatever like that. I love it. That's so cool. Okay, we'll put that back into the folder, Invasion of the Mini Prints. That, that is Prince with a T-S, not an C-E. Miniature member of the royalty. Okay. There's still this pin, I think. Okay, cool. So... This is a different style of pin than we've gotten in the past. Uh, also, yes, that's Mojo Jojo from uh, Powerpuff Girls. That's a new style pin. Um, this pin unlocks something epic. Go to lootcrate.com slash pins. Interesting. So, like, the buttons before used to be the type that, you know, you open and they're like, uh, um, safety pin? I think? I don't know, but this is like the, the take off the back and then boop it right back on. So, actually this, this honestly, this kind is better for collecting because you can take the back off and just boop it right into a cork board. Um, and I kind of wish the others were like that too because then I'd actually be able to display all my loot crate pins. Just get like a framed cork board and just boop, 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 boop. Uh, that'd be really cool. Um, I'll need to figure out if more pins in the future come like this, I will probably figure out a way to try to get the other style of pin closure. This is the pin. It's in the, um, that to fit onto that kind. So, yes. Okay, and then we also have the Loot Crate magazine. This tells you about what you got in the, in the, the crate. Details on the loot invading your crate this month. Q&A with January's t-shirt designer. X-Files quick start guide, how to survive an alien invasion. Oh, let's see, pictures of looters with their previous stuff that they've gotten. Oh, with the cute little Diablo. <laughs> How to survive an alien invasion. Sneeze often. Avoid monuments. Uh, catch up on the truth of X-Files. So, in other words, X-Files is going to go back on the air if you didn't watch it during its original airing. And there's nine years of stuff to catch up on, and you're like, ooh, well, that's a lot. That's kind of intimidating. There's a really quick cheat sheet here to catch you up on who's who and, and kind of bring you up to speed on, uh, on the series. Tells you, who, uh, t tells you about the Mega Crate. Every month you are, you are entered to win the Mega Crate. That is something that is, uh, all subscribers are entered to win it. This one was worth over $2,000. It has the X-Files Complete Series on Blu-ray, so you don't need to read the primer. You can just watch it. Um, a, uh, an Epson projector. <sighs> oh my god. An action figure of the guy who played Admiral Akbar. Not of Admiral Akbar, of the guy who played Admiral Akbar in costume with the head off to the side. That's awesome! How does that even exist? There's other stuff as well. There's also the mini mega crate um, that has uh, a Space Invaders ballpoint pen, um, really nifty pen. That's something that uh, 15 people uh, this month got that. So let's see here. <laughs> Meshies Invaders, uh, a game, Meshies Invaders with their ship. Crossword, or a word search. No, that's a crossword. Okay.
exclusive uh, X Files The Day Has Come t shirt, exclusive Alien Facehugger plush, exclusive Space Invaders vinyl figure, exclusive Fifth Element prop replicas, multi pass, exclusive Invasion mini art prints. Is everything exclusive in Luke right nowadays? Holy crap! Exclusive LED flashlight. And brand new and exclusive January 2016 loot pin. Beginning this month, you'll see new and improved Cloisonne. C L O I S O N N E with an accent over it. Style collector pin in every crate. Each pin unlocks something epic, but you need to go to lootcrate.com slash pins to unlock the prizes. Unlock the digital download for letter 44 at lootcrate.com slash pins. Um, and. Okay, so it's basically, I guess it's like show it somehow or something, I'm, I'm not quite sure. A free comic brought to you by your friends at Oni Press and Comixology um, called Letter 44. Okay, so digital download for a comic called Letter 44 using the pin. I'm not quite sure how that'll work, but I'm excited to find out. And that is this month's crate. What is the rubber band for? Aww. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you're interested in subscribing to Loot Crate, remember that again, you can do so from any of these countries and use this uh, subscription link to sign up for it. Uh, $15 shipped to the US, uh, more than that overseas, available in one, three, six, or 12 month subscriptions. Uh, remember that you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter.com slash Boaterbug and support me on Patreon.com slash Boaterbug. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. You know, I mean, assuming, you know. <laughs>